Konami has confirmed the resolutions and frame rates for all versions of Metal Gear Solid 5, Ground Zeroes. And much like most other recent multi-platform games, the PlayStation 4 has come out on top. The PS4 version will run at 1080p native and 60 frames per second, a vast, vast improvement on the Xbox One, which will run at 720p and 60 frames per second, whereas the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 versions will run at an upscaled 720p and 30 frames per second respectively. This weekend saw the previously closed Titanfall beta go fully open to Xbox One users and saw many people who were previously unable to join the beta get in on the fun. Myself and Dan were on the PC beta so we managed to get in on the closed beta and whilst we found it fun we wasn't blown away. We have two videos of adventure up on the channel and a written article on the site. Whatever your opinion, Titanfall hits Xbox One, PC and Xbox 360 this March. The first full gameplay trailer for The Order 1886 has hit, and boy does it look good. The trailer offers a glimpse at the PlayStation 4 third person gun combat, melee struggles and a much closer look at the next gen city of tight 19th century corridors. Whilst the glimpse of that gameplay, cover based third person shooter mechanics and hand to hand combat that plays out with time button presses was somewhat familiar, the graphical fidelity paired with sharp art direction is something games have been striving to match for more than a decade. Graphically, The Order 1886 is simply jaw-dropping. With lifelike facial animation and stunning scenery, this is one game to look out for when it hits later this year.